Hmm. Welcome. Well, where would you like to go? What? We can go back as far as you'd like. Many different places to go. Is this an elevator? Huh. <laughs> Why, it looks like it. I haven't been one of these beauties in a long time. Usually it's boats, cars, and personally, I prefer zeppelins. But, <laughs> that was a different time. Those days are long gone by now. I did a spaceship once. Very few people get the chance to ride one, so I got lucky that time. So where would you like to go? Why am I here? You chose this elevator. I guess I'll go up. Mm. I'm sorry, Rayburn. I don't see that option. How do you know my name? Do you prefer Harry? Only my mother calls me Harry. I know. Your mother's been dead for over two years. I transferred her. Very nice lady. She misses you. We actually have several buttons for your mother on the board here. Would you like me to pick one? Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll pick. Ah. That's me. My god, I, I remember this. I, I was... That's me, seven years old. You're actually six and a half. I'm sorry, I won't interrupt. My mom had just bought new snow boots. And I always got snow stuck in them. My mom always bought the boots one size too big because she knew that I would grow into them. Every winter, when I would go outside, I'd be walking and step into a deep snowbank. The snow would fall into my boot, and my foot would be packed in the cold snow. When that happened, I would come home crying, calling for my mom to help me. Take the boot off and warm my foot with her hands. And then... I'll be, I'll be right, right back, back outside, outside again. again. Do you want to step out? What? Can I press another button? That road trip, when the car broke down in the desert, my mother and I, we stayed in the car the entire night, looking at all of the stars. We were so innocent. Not a care in the world. That's a good one. Would you like to step out? Why am I seeing this? Am I dead? Oh, yes. Very dead. Would you like to step out? Or go somewhere else? How did I die? There's a button for that. Hold on. Let me... Do 
you want to step out or go to another place. Close the door. Where am I? Why am I here? Who are you? You chose this elevator. I don't know why. I'm just the operator. If it's any consolation, it's a good thing that you didn't step out there. You would be stuck. Stuck? Stuck where? In that place. In transfers I've done, some people choose to stay in those places where they died. Personally, I don't see the point. It's just so gloomy. Why would they want to stay there? There are other options. You mean I have to get out? Yes. Eventually you'll have to get out. But... You gotta be careful, though. This isn't a shopping mall. That memory that you had with your mother in the desert? Can't go back to that one. Once we leave a place, that's it. It's gone forever. Folks at Transric will visit all the great places they've been to. But once they realize all the good ones are gone... Only the bad ones are left. So, they visit every bad place, looking for a good one until it gets progressively worse. And let me tell you, there are some very dark places in their past that they shouldn't have gone to. Like this, for example. This has been on your mind a lot lately, hasn't it? Yes. The divorce. But that's not the worst memory you have, is it? No. Now look. I like you. I don't normally hold a soft spot for people. My transfers? Strictly business. During your mother's transfer, she's spoken of nothing but wonderful things about you, so in a way, I've grown fond of you. My mom has wonderful memories of me? Yes. I've seen them. Many good ones. I can't remember any. Huh. That's interesting. That is interesting. You can't remember anything good at all? No. Hmm. And what about this one? State Carnival. Biggest one of the year. Mm -hmm. We were also with a deadbeat guy who drank and beat us. Mm, I see. Huh. And this? You're staying at home from school, spending time with your mom, watching TV on the couch. I was home because I was sick with a virus. I ended up in the hospital. Because we had no insurance, my mother had to foot the bill. She also lost her job because she was at home taking care of me. Honest, 
I, I can't remember any good memories of my mother. She tried her hardest to raise me, but I wish she would have done better. I would rather be at a place of happiness and be around other people that care about me. Okay. Where would you like to go? Have you had a tough life? People sometimes interlace positive events with negative emotions. Rayburn, you really gotta look through the weeds to find those moments. I could go to places where I had great sex. Do you have any? You must know. In the transfer business, people have tried to bribe me. They promised me untold riches or fame. They even threatened to kill me. And at this stage, they try to negotiate with me. Any of them succeed? No. Hmm. I, I recognize this elevator now. I think I know why I chose this. Mother came to visit me a while back. A surprise. Things were stressful at work. She came at the wrong time. My wife and I were fighting. I didn't want her to stay at the house. So I booked her a hotel room and dropped her off. I saw her face as the doors of the elevator closed. I told her I'll spend tomorrow with her, but she couldn't stay an extra day. She left soon after. She, she died some time later. The very last living memory I have of her was looking at her face as the hotel elevator doors closed between us. I think I'll get out here. Here? Yeah. I think that I would like to stay in my last moments with my mother for eternity. That all right? I think that sounds nice. A good choice, actually. Do you know which place my mother decided to step into?